I'm Marissa, hello, and this is Margarita. And today, um, we just kind of wanted to give, um, I need to finish this scrubbing room, hold on. <laughs> this is a mess. <laughs> this is a mess. So hi YouTube, my name is Marissa, and this is Margarita. And basically we realized that um, there was a lot of information on the internet on how to get a job in bottle service. And as former bottle girls, <laughs> We wanted to help you out. Um, basically sharing our experiences, our tips, um, and tricks on how to... Um, how we got the job. How we least. got the job, basically. Because not everyone's experience is going to be the same. Because not every club and not every area is the same as ours. So tip number one, it's a lot about who you know. So I, the only reason I got a job in bottle service is because I knew Marga. I'm just going to call her Marga for the rest of the video because <laughs> I never call her Margarita. So just a disclaimer. Anyway, <laughs> it's because Marga was working in bottle service. She'd already been working at two different clubs. So she, um, three, three, di okay, three different clubs. <laughs> and I was like, dude, like it works perfectly with my, it's my hater. <laughs> It's cold. It's cold it, AF. Works, it works perfectly with my schedule. You make a lot of money and um, it sounds like a fun job. So I hit up Mark and I was like, hey girl, like I need to send you my application, please send it to your bosses, blah 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 blah. And like honestly I wouldn't have gotten the job if I didn't ask her because they weren't hiring um I guess the look I had. So basically um they want a variety of girls and most of the girls they were hiring were like Latina, Mexican, like whatever. So um, they wanted to like broaden their horizons, but they still um, gave me an interview and ended up getting the job because of her. So um, having someone you know in the industry will help you out a lot. So if you know someone and you have a good relationship with them, definitely utilize them. All right, tip number two. Confidence and appearance. So a thing about model service is like you're not selling yourself, you're selling an illusion, I guess like a look. And you have to upkeep a certain type of appearance. Now, some clubs are gonna be very specific on how they want you to look. Hair is a really big thing. Like, so, uh, the clubs that I worked at, you couldn't have like crazy hair. It had to be like very natural, um, like very natural colors. Like, I remember um, I dyed my hair pink and I literally got away with it was because it was like a really baby light pink and it didn't like look, I guess like shocking. So I got away with that. Another thing is like nails. It's not something like everyone has to do, but it's like when you're doing bottle service, there's a photographer that goes around and like takes pictures of you, like pouring the shots and this and that. And they'll do close up of your hands, like with the, with the alcohol. And it's really important to kind of have like a nice manicure, not even fake nails, but just like, like upkeep, like your, I guess like your, um, you don't even have to wear nail polish to be honest. You can have like clear if you want, like if you don't really want nails. Um, you just can't have ratchet nails. nails like. Yeah, just not really ugly looking nails. Um, and it's not really anything about like the club. It's more like on you, you know, because like everyone's like looking at you. So they'll notice things and they'll point out things about you to kind of like, I don't know, just talk about you. So um, don't ever like give them that option to talk about you because working in bottle service does put you in like a vulnerable kind of position which you don't really want to be in. Yeah, like they're watching everything you're doing. Yeah. They're watching you pour the shots. So like when you go in or like you have that initial interview, make sure you have um, nice nails or at least a try to like as like simple or as small of a thing that seems like it actually kind of matters a lot yeah they notice everything like when i walked in for my interview um you want to kind of show off yourself you're like kind of selling yourself to the owner who's ever like interviewing you like um for example like i don't really have big boobs or like I had more of like a butt back then because <laughs> like I hella worked out um but it the thing that I have is I have like chest like what is this like chest collarbones um, collarbones yeah collarbones collarbones so um I kind of wore a shirt that kind of like <laughs> I have collarbones <laughs> everyone has collarbones but like mine kind of stick out a lot <laughs> well I've been told okay that's what they yeah like. so just when you go in for that interview yeah. show off your best assets Yes. Whether that be your ass, ass your boobs, boobs your, your face, collarbone. <laughs> I'm serious. Like people, guys, show that shit off. Yeah, and <laughs> wear makeup. Wear, okay. Oh yeah, definitely. Wear like makeup. I sent a girl to get interviewed with my boss 
my boss quickly like called me back and he's like what the fuck <laughs> like this girl had no makeup on she literally like didn't even do her hair it was like up in a bun or something and she was like wearing like an, a she said an office suit attire and I was just like, I don't know. It's not that kind of interview. No, it's no. not. So you don't want to dress up too sexy, but you don't want to dress up down either. Like, we have kind of like an example. Um, a safe color to wear would be black, to be honest. Like, no other color is like a, the best color to wear in an interview. I would say something simple like black stilettos like nice hopefully you need to make sure you walk in it because they're gonna kind of test you they're gonna walk you around and if you can't walk in heels that's like an automatic like uh, no you know because you some clubs require you to wear four inch heels that's what i had to walk in you know and i am in a certain attire having to walk in four inch heels and a huge crowd of people and with drinks sometimes i'm carrying drinks shots or I'm carrying four bottles at a time. So you have to learn to like kind of multitask with everything. And just like a simple black long. I wouldn't say like super long, but like you don't want to look trashy either. You like, don't want your booty hanging out. No, not yet. Not too short. Yeah, it really <laughs> depends on the attire of the club, but yeah. something like. You want to look sexy, but you don't want to look trashy, you know, like you want to present yourself middle ground There's a fine line between sexy and ratchet slash trashy Exactly. No, you don't want that. What's the next one? Oh, Instagram social media Um, so do you want to talk about that? Sure, I can start it. So basically, um, see I don't have a huge following on Instagram But I do have like I'm super active on it and like I definitely when I started this job um, grew my Instagram that way because a lot of it um, most clubs are gonna have you help promote the events that are going on so if you don't have a social media if you're not active it's you're not really gonna be considered um, it does help if you have a large following because club owners see that as revenue like once you promote you know events they see that as all your followers like if you have a large following it's more people that are gonna show up to the club show up to the events um, Marga can go explain a little bit more on that so when I first started the, um, my my job as a bottle girl I didn't have a lot of I mean I did have a good number but um, it kind of grew as time went on i didn't have like a huge volume but i had like a good amount and um it really helps because okay your money that you make is based off how much you promote and how much you sell off your private social media so i would sell bottles to customers like people would message me like um guys girls parties whatever on social media they'd be like oh we have a party on friday that we want to like do at your club like how much is a bottle of this this and this and like you know i sometimes i can give deals through them and that's a good thing if you sell the bottles i don't know how it works with most clubs but in the clubs that i worked at i get to keep the tip and i don't split that tip with you know like all of the management groups so that kind of like really helped too um, having a social media kind of gets your name out there but um, just remember with your social media everyone's watching you so <laughs> careful what you post be careful what you post you don't yeah. want to be known as the trashy ho bottle girl yeah. because believe it or not like when you're in bottle service when you're in the nightlife industry it's its own crowd and everyone mm -hmm. knows each other like everyone mm, watches your every move everyone watches your every move like it sounds stupid, but it's true. Yeah, and people take <laughs> screenshots of you, and like when you go and party, people like know who you are and stuff like that. So just be careful. We sound we sound super bougie right now, but it's honestly like the truth. No, it 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 honestly is. Like I we've had personal experiences, you know, where it's actually like cause you know like stress or I wouldn't even say depression, but like it's caused a lot of stress to a point where it's like you feel really sad <laughs> you know because people like yeah. just put shit out just about you, the you know? like i guess something to know before you get into the nightlife industry like you have to be okay in the limelight you, you do have and you have okay. to know how to present yourself like mm -hmm. yes you're in the nightlife industry don't get trashed every night but have fun have fun um it's a good experience know your limits 
um, big yeah. one. Know your limits. Don't get trashed. Oh, also keep um, yourself active on your social media because you are more desirable other than like other girls. And when I'm talking about desirable, um, the manager notices that you post a lot and you're always advertising so I could see more spots on the schedule. So when you're really active on social media, when you're like really about the club, when you, they see that you're, you know, go, getting to work on time, um, you're doing what you have to do, you're cleaning your sections, like they notice that and that means more money in your pocket. So make sure you take the job seriously because mm -hmm. it's like, it's the thing that kind of sucks about bottle service is that you're always replaceable. There's always going to be someone younger, prettier, like bigger boobs, bigger, bigger butt, smaller waist. Yeah, there's always something bigger social media out there presence. that's going to take your place. And it's hard to say. It's like you work so hard to be in the position that you're in and then someone next week could like literally take your so position. Your job because let's be yeah. real, you make a lot of money for mm -hmm. a kind of easy job. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, it it has its difficulties, you know, in the job. We'll probably talk about that like yeah we have another video um yeah. basically the truth about bottle service the behind the scenes like what people don't know about being a bottle once, girl yeah once you get the job but yeah basically this is just like the before um i guess one thing we didn't really touch on we kind of touched on but like the last thing i do want to mention and the other reason of why i haven't even applied to any bottle jobs in vegas where i now live um yeah your appearance matters but most importantly like we talked about like showing off your assets, but like also you gotta be in really, like you have to be in tip top shape. Like <sighs> this is kind of like a gray area where it's like you really don't like talking about it. And it's like kind of like those, how can I say? It's like that thing that we know, but we don't, we don't talk, talk about, about it because it's just it's awkward. It's honestly, it's an ugly and honest truth but bottle service is really based off your looks. It's 90% looks. It honestly is. And you know what? It's not just everyone that kind of goes through it. Like I've gone through it. Like once I gain weight, like they'll like take you off the schedule. And it's yeah. we'll, really- We'll it's, like touch more on it on the next one. Yeah. It's like a, you just gotta be prepared for that. Um, yeah, you have to be open to a lot of criticism. Yeah, because They'll hire girls with zero experience. You could have worked at, you know, all the clubs before, you know, brought in all the people, but like if you um, let yourself go and like a hotter version of you walks in right after you with zero experience, they don't care about you anymore. You need to have the look. Mm -hmm. So 90% 90, really 90 of it is looks and that's one thing that you do have to realize. So be confident in yourself, um, be healthy. Oh yeah, the number one thing I would say is confidence. confidence. If you look happy, that's another thing. You have to look happy and you have to be smiling because if you look like you're down, like no one's going to want to party with you. No, exactly. And then your manager's going to notice that you're depressed, so it's going to make your table depressed. And then it's like this big old cycle. So, you know, you have to have fun. You know, make sure like, you know, you're taking care of yourself as well. Your appearance matters. Not only that, but your health is a really big thing. Mm -hmm. So stay on top of that so basically so in total um, it's really good if you already know someone in the industry be very confident uh, with what you do even if you don't know what the f you're doing like just be confident <laughs> be confident when you walk into that interview just just be confident, confident. not cocky confident it kind of helps to like maybe get bottle service so you can yeah, watch go, them, you know? so, yeah. Like, go get a go get a table At, one day or or Sit in on someone's yeah, table. Yeah, just like go okay. sit on a table. table. Yeah, you don't have to pay for it because it's expensive. Yeah, um, I don't really get it to this day, but it's expensive. Yep. Uh, your appearance, your social um, media. Social media. Be active. Be active. Um, yeah. Present yourself in a way where you want to be remembered in a positive way. I would say, have fun, but everything that you don't that you'll be ashamed of, do it behind kind of closed doors. <laughs> Whatever it is, you know, like we yeah. don't judge. <laughs> We've seen everything, but whatever it is, just the social media site does not always have to see it no. all the time. No. Uh, what else? I think that's it. That's it. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> we hope this helped you um, with your pursuit on a bottle service job. Anything? Any last words? Uh, no. No. All right. Peace. It's in